Welcome to the Tokusatsu Corner! With your hosts, Nathan Grace 989 and Nightshade 04. And Lighter 9. Now grab your Ranger keys and your Astro Switches, because it's time for the Tokusatsu Corner! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tokusatsu Corner, your weekly dose of Tokusatsu. Guten Tag! I'm Nathan Graves 989, and with me as always are. Nightshade? And Lighter 9. And welcome to episode 11 of the Tokusatsu Corner. And god damn it, it still feels good to be here. Good to have you back, man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you once again. Please, no applause, dude. <laughs> anyway, time to announce last week's trivia winners. And actually, I have an announcement to make about the Tokusatsu Corner trivia. We're going to be starting... It's going to be become more like a game. Starting this episode, we're going to be issuing out points. And why, why are we doing this? Well, one for bragging rights for all y'all. And two, whoever gets to ten points first gets to be a special guest host on the Tokusatsu Corner for one episode. But there are some rules. you got to have a decent mic. You can't have... If you have one that crackles a lot, or it sounds like you're talking through a McDonald's speaker, you're not going to be on the podcast. And, Sorry. <laughs> and two, you obviously got to have Skype, because that's what we use to record our podcast, because we live in different parts of the country. And three, you can only become a guest host three times in a row. After that, you got to skip, say, a week. And then you're, but you can still answer trivia questions to, for your total, for your total score. But it won't count towards a uh, guest host score. And after that week, you could start answering questions again and tally up points to be a guest guest host again. Anyway, time to answer the question. And the question was, how many users have used the birth driver, and who were they? And the answer was the answer is five. First being Nobunaga in the move in the Double O's movie War Core. Then Date and Goto in the series. Satonaka in the mini webisodes. And Eiji in the 20, 21 Core Metal movie. And congratulations to Exodia the Forbidden One 25, Blitzkrieg Dragon 13, Neon Kyo, and Decree for answering the questions correctly. And all four of you each have one point added to your total score and added to the guess, guess host score. Oh, and another thing. Once somebody reaches 10 points, the, the scores for being a guest host will be completely wiped. Everybody will start at zero the, following, the next week and keep on competing again. But you're, keep track of your overall score because we want to know them and we'll announce them each week on the corner. I just realized, what if there's like a four-way tie? Or if there's like a tie? Then we will have all of them on here. <laughs> but we'll have all of them in a cage and they'll fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> Who can give the best discussion topics? Go! <laughs> Uh, we'll... like, it would be like that scene in Naruto when he had all those ninjas in the pit, when uh, Urshimar had all those ninjas in the pit, and they had a fight to become the best, and then he eat the top one. So, we'll, so if you, if you win, we will also eat you after you get your guest spot. <laughs> if you win, you get a free snake. <laughs> but anyway, after after that lengthy announcement, it's time for the Toku News Corner with me, Nightshade. Because the news starts now. From YouTube's World Tokusatsu News Headquarters, this is the Tokusatsu News Corner with Nathan Graves 989 and Nightshade 04 and Lighter 9. Alright, first up, South Korean game company Netrieve Soft announced it will unveil Power Rangers Online, an MMORPG based on the popular Super Sentai series produced by Toei Company in a later half of 2011. So, I guess it's almost here. Power Rangers Online is based on 
Maho Sentai, Mazu Ninja, which aired in South Korea as Power Rangers Magic Force in 2006. The game is expected to be made into a horizontal scroll action RPG. The teaser site for the game is now online and announced that it plans to launch closed beta testing for the game within this year. In other news, AKB48's Akia Umeda, Sumire Sato, and Haruka Shimida and the Ultraman Foundation visited the Moriokashi City Prefectural Office in Iwate Prefecture. The Northeastern Prefecture was one of the areas hit hardest in March 11 earthquake and tsunami. At the event, the group donated 20 million yen, or about $250,000, and two microbuses. The microbuses have AKB48 and Ultraman themes, seats 26 passengers, and will be used as school buses. The donations will benefit the area's children still recovering from the earthquake and tsunami. The Ultraman Foundation was founded to aid children affected by the Great Eastern Japan Earthquake Disaster. It has held various events and raised funds for the affected children. At last month's comic market in Tokyo, visitors could purchase the Ultraman Begins 2011 Arasana Tataki no Hajimari Dojinshi by donating at least 500 yen, about $6 to the Ultraman Foundation. I find this really cool that they're doing this for the children. This just shows how how much they really care. And again, yeah, it's unbelievably cool. The power of Tokusatsu. This just means that for this time period, they can uh, believe that Ultraman exists. Even though I haven't heard of it. <laughs> Even though none of us have seen it or heard of it. But like this is a time when children really need heroes, especially after a disaster like that. Like I, yeah, I, I remember seeing a image of like various Tokusatsu heroes, like um, Gokaijers and O's, and like seeing I believe the Gokaio, like helping out like victims in this during this tragedy. And if we can, we'll have the picture come up here and. I, I just thought this was really moving, especially considering, like, these are the superheroes in Japan. Like, these are their Supermans, their Batmans. Like, they, like they're the role models for ch the children there. Just, just shows, I mean, because there wasn't, like, Power Rangers or anything like that in New Orleans after Katrina show. So I really, really wish showed... there was, though. That really would have been... That would have been nice to see. Yeah, it would have been really nice to see. And our prayers go goes out to the victims still affected by this great tragedy. In other news, the first of six Kaisuko Sentai Gokaija SH Figure Arts has finally been released. SH Figure Arts Gokai Red represents the marvelous and trustworthy captain of the Gokai Galleon crew. SH Figure Arts Gokai Red stands 14 centimeters tall and comes with Gokai Gun, Gokai Sebre, Gokai Red Ranger Keys, Crossed Arms, and the limited edition first release steering wheel for the Gokai Galleon. Interchangeable hands are also included. SH Figure Arts Gokai, Gokai Red costs 3,500 yen or about 40 US dollars. You hear that? He could cross his arms! I gotta fucking get this toy now! That's worth 40 bucks alone! <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna stare at you like this while you while you whack off to, uh, into hentai or porn or whatever you're doing. Like, how dare you? Challenge accepted. I, in my place, <laughs> <it's> my presence. <laughs> in other SH Figure Arts news, Bandai recently revealed new images for the upcoming release of SH Figure Arts Gokai Silver. It represents the trustworthy diehard superheroes Super Sentai fan from Kaisuko Sentai Gokaija. SH Figure Arts Gokai Silver also stands 14 centimeters tall and comes with various accessories including the Gokai Spear in gun trident mode, Gokai Cellular, and although not pictured, it will definitely come with the with a Gokai Silver Ranger key. SH Figures Gokai Silver costs 36.75 yen and will be released in January 2012. Why does silver cost more than red? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> because silver's better than red. I'm actually because... surprised it, do it doesn't come with the uh, gold mold shield. Yeah, 
Th that I would see. be nice. Well, that's gonna be, I guess, for another SH graveyard so they can get more money. More money! Ah, uh, those tricky bastards. Okay. More money <laughs> is always better. In more SH Figuarts news, Super Sentai fans residing in the US, rejoice! For your wait has finally come to an end. You can now purchase Samurai Sentai Shinkenger SH Figuarts in your area, starting with previously released SH Figuarts Shinken Red and Shinken Gold. Holy shit, they're actually gonna release Sentai toys in America? And you it's betcha. not in, at a convention? Nope going to be sold at your local retailer. Well, and to be more specifically, Toys R Us. We're not being paid by Toys R Us to say that. No, we just thought you guys should know, because that'll be awesome. Although we would like money, Toys R Us, if you're listening. <laughs> Give us money! <laughs> okay. Anywho, no more information can be divulged at this time. In other news... After the Tokyo Game Show in 2011, the official blog for Bandai Namco Games' upcoming PlayStation Portable and Nintendo Wii game, Kamen Rider Climax Heroes Foes, which featured new info in the, ta in the tag team battle. There are three types of tag team battle systems. You can swap characters freely without consuming gauge. You can call your assist to do combined attacks, for example, if you choose Fies Blaster and Hyper Kabuto, both of them can do a powerful missile attack. This consumes Rider Gauge. When it's 2 on 2 on screen, you can swap between characters letting the CPU control the other one. Climax Heroes Foes will be released on PlayStation Portable and Nintendo Wii for 59.81 yen. Check out the Kamen Rider Climax Heroes Foes pre-order page at CD Japan. Finally, brand new information about the upcoming Kamen Rider X Kamen Rider Foes and O's Movie Wars Mega Max reveals two new riders, Kamen Rider Nedeshiko and Kamen Rider Poseidon. Kamen Rider Nedeshiko is a high school student that wants to cooperate with Foes. Gantaro is supposed to be falling in love with this character. The scan does not say whether she will appear in the TV series. I really hope she does. That'd, that'd be really great, especially having the secondary rider, rider being a woman. The very first second rider in the Showa era. We're in a Heisei. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out! I thought, shit. Whatever. Anywho, that's all for the Toku News this week. These stories and more were brought to you by JE Fusion, the Japanese entertainment blog. So go to JE Fusion for tokusatsu, anime, music, movie, and entertainment news. All right, thank you for all those stories, Nightshade. Very informative, as always. Thank you very much. And with that, it's time for the Toku Music Moment. Now, as we know, last week we played one of Light's favorite songs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but this time we're gonna be we're gonna be good. But we're we're not gonna play like any Shinkenger songs. Sorry, Light. But we are gonna be playing a what? Sentai song. And the song we're gonna be playing for you this week is the opening to Ginga Man a in English. Mm. And we'll we'll be right back with your with your fan questions. Enjoy the song. Listen close to the ground Beating strong enough to treat the line 